the messy little face. Hi, Leo. Welcome to July 2015. Now, in July, there may be an inner battle going on with self. And that's because as you go into July, there's a powerful Capricorn full moon on the 1st. And it's involved with Pluto. Capricorn rules the area of your life that has to do with where you work, how you work, your work habits, your health, your health habits, your diet, your psychological diet, how you feed yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, physically. The sun is in Cancer. Cancer is 12 signs from you. Cancer rules the area of your life that has to do with how you get in your own way, how you may sabotage yourself. It is the self-defeating patterns you disown or deny that gets projected onto others and then they mirror it back. So there's going to be a lot of shadow work going on the first few weeks here in July because of the Capricorn full moon and then the Cancer new moon on the 15th. For you, these are happening in the area of what's behind the scenes, your subconscious, and like I said, the area of self-sabotage. Capricorn is in the area of work and health and how you take care of yourself. We can make karma with our own body if we're not taking care of our body. I see this in people's charts that they've made karma with their body in the past, the past lives, and in this life it shows up as health issues. If you want a lot from your body, you have to give your body a lot. And that means eating really well, resting, drinking lots of water, practicing extreme self-care, doing what's really good for you, nourishing and nurturing your body so that that body, which is a temple, which is a vessel, on loan to you from Creator and so that you can work out your karma is taken care of. The body is a being unto itself and we want to love and nurture the body so that the body is healthy and your wealth is in your health. The better you feel, the more you can do, the more you can do, the more you can accomplish. So it's all going on this month and with Pluto coupled with the Moon in Capricorn opposing the sun in cancer, this is about you, you know, completing things, finishing unfinished business, but it's also about looking at how you get in your own way. Now, these energies are really bringing up the shadow stuff. You know, guilt, manipulation, power struggles. For you, it's really on the inside. Now, yes, there's others that can be mirroring back to you, for instance, there could be a power struggle going on at work, maybe with an employee or with a boss or a coworker. There's something going on at work with you, especially this first part of July, and you want to look at that. Do you need to, you know, hire someone else? Do you need to look for a new job? Do you need to start your own business? You know, what needs to happen in order for you to feel fulfilled? and good with what you're doing. And this is the time to look at it. How is it affecting your health? Is there too, are you too focused on work at the expense of your health? That can be a challenge too, because wherever Pluto is is where we're obsessed. Pluto rules obsession. And for you, it's in the area of work and service and health and lifestyle. And so if you're too focused on work at the expense of your own well-being, it's going to show up here. And then, you know, you could be struggling with yourself, you know, mad at yourself or something, how you gave your power away, how you've been tolerating a situation, how you've been putting up with something, right? This is the time to clean house. This is the time to clean out the closet, clean out the basement. And when you do that, it becomes filled with light. This is the ascension. Earth is ascending. You are ascending. And the ascension process requires you to clean out the closet of your mind, clean out the basement, and allow yourself to be filled with light. And when you do that, you feel lighter, you feel happier, you feel more, you feel more joyful. Now, even though these are challenging energies, the universe always provides a way out. 
and for you you have Jupiter in your sign and Venus is in Leo so for you it is about really practicing that self-dedication healthy selfishness when you do what's right for you it's right for everyone else loving you more than the need to keep something going loving you more than the need to stay in a toxic situation set boundaries with others that are running over your boundaries don't get caught up in right fighting I'm right and I'm gonna prove I'm right that takes a lot of energy <laughs> let that go you okay you're right you are right but you don't have to prove it you just have to live it and take time for meditation you're in your six week cycle six weeks before our birthday we get the entire year lessons in that last six weeks that's why we're the most tired up until our birthday on your birthday which is the most sacred day of the year the universe bestows its gifts on you and the new energy that keeps you going to the next birthday of 2016 so up until that birthday the energy cycling down and as the energy cycles down and especially because you're in the cycle of cancer which is 12 signs from you this is where this is your karma cancer rules that area of karma for you and it makes you tired the Sun is not strong in cancer the Sun is strong in Leo it's exalted in Aries but it's dignified in Leo which it will be on the 22nd when it enters but up until the 22nd those first three weeks of July I want you to rest recharge your batteries no pushing take time for yourself go out into nature especially in the northern hemisphere we're in summer and you want to enjoy summer and there's nothing better to heal you than getting out into nature with Gaia and allowing her to nourish and nurture you and allowing her to cleanse you go swimming swimming is a wonderful way to release negativity to release what no longer serves you to feel cleansed and purified and then you come up higher in the light and are ready for your birthday now the Sun moves into Leo on um, July 22nd and there's a lot happening you know before then the cancer new moon on the 15th is another powerful moon because this one is involved with Uranus and Mars is in cancer opposing Pluto in Capricorn with Mercury okay so this is going to be super intense with um, there could be you know arguments going on at work there could be power struggles again you know look at you know what truly matters for you look at what's important for you and let go of the rest and don't get caught up in uh, power struggles you know set your set your boundaries raise your standards and do what's right for you you know this this has to do this could for some of you it could it could be something legal as well because Uranus is in that area of uh, legal issues and you know it could have something to do with that so you know you want to do your homework and you want to make sure that you know what's going on and you know this is an energy you're not at your strongest because cancer rules that area of karma for you it rules that area of how you get in your own way so you're not at your strongest so it, it really isn't time for you to you know take on more and do more and push more it really is a time for you to rest and recharge your batteries focus on dream work focus on meditation focus on your spirituality focus on rest and relaxation it's a wonderful time to take a vacation if, if there's any time for you to take a vacation these first two weeks in July first three weeks in July are fantastic for vacation because you're out of the office you're away from the work and you can get out into nature and and allow nature to nourish and nurture you so that you come back refreshed and ready to move forward Venus will dip into Virgo on July 18th but then she's back into Leo on the 31st and Venus will retrograde 
July 25th through September 6th. Venus is in your sign. Venus makes you look better, makes you feel better, and she's sitting there with Jupiter. They're so cute. They're together all month, and it's in the area of you. So opportunities are being brought to you, financial opportunity, relationship opportunity, career development opportunity, personal development opportunity. This is going on all month, even in the throes of this powerful Capricorn full moon and Cancer new moon. You have many blessings here for you. There's a lot of good things going on for you too. And the sun moves into Leo on the 22nd. Happy birthday, Leo. Now, once the sun gets into Leo, you'll start feeling your strength return. You'll start feeling your focus and energy return. And Mercury moves into Leo too. So now you've got four planets in Leo. Okay, Mercury moves in on the 23rd. So, you know, by that third week in July, you're going to start feeling your strength return, your energy return, your focus return, and it's going to feel very different than the first part of July. So now you have the sun in your sign, Mercury, Jupiter, and Venus. That's opportunity. That's new beginnings. That's a fresh start. That is really doing some fabulous growth work where you really come to know yourself on new levels. And when you do that, it empowers you because it's like the other stuff that used to bother you, it doesn't even bother you anymore. Things that used to seem important, they're not important because you really know who you are. You appreciate who you are. You love who you are. And you're keeping the focus on what you can do, what you can accomplish, what you can get done. And when you do that, you'll be successful. Allow others to take care of themselves. Allow others to figure it out for themselves. That's their job. Your job, your responsibility, is to figure it out for you. So use that first three weeks to clean out the closets, let go of you know, the negativity, the self-doubt, the shoulda, coulda, woulda. Whenever anything's in the 12th, we always shoulda, coulda, woulda. Oh, you know, hindsight's great, but you always do the best you can when you're there. So be forward focused, and it'll, that'll get a lot easier as the month goes on and the sun returns to Leo on the 22nd and then the 23rd you have Mercury. Now Venus retrogrades on the 25th and she'll be in Leo till the 8th. That is an advantage and it is an opportunity for you to reevaluate your career, okay, because Venus rules Taurus and Libra and Taurus rules the area of your career and Libra rules the area of communication for you. So you have an opportunity to look at how your social networking is going, how your career is going, you know, what is really important to you. Now is the time to map things out. When Venus is retrograde, this is the time for you to start mapping and intentionally set what you want to see happen. Next six months, the next year, the next five years. Where do you want to be in six months from now? Where do you want to be in a year from now? How are you going to get there? What steps are you taking to reach your goals? Intention is important. Energy is important. Action is important. With Venus moving in reverse, it's going to give you an opportunity to reevaluate what truly matters for you. Where you want a new beginning. Maybe you want to do a beauty makeover. Maybe you want to do an inner makeover. Maybe you want to do an inner and outer makeover. Right? That's good because that shows the wonderful changes that you're making. And having Venus in your sign is awesome. Having Jupiter in your sign is awesome. And they're both there supporting you all month, all of July. Saturn has revisited that personal foundation. What do you do to build safety and security for yourself? What do you do to make yourself feel secure in this world? Power is on the inside. Security is on the inside. Then you end the month with a fabulous Aquarius full moon in the area of relationships. There's no challenging aspects to this moon. So it's like the universe is rewarding you for the shadow work you did first three weeks of July. And if there's any inner battle going on with you, make peace with you. Forgive yourself for having to go through that relationship. Forgive yourself for having to go through that situation. Forgive yourself for not knowing. Forgive yourself for trusting the wrong person. Forgive yourself for not always knowing the, you know, what to do.
Be proactive. Do what's right for you. By the end of the month, you're going to be feeling on top, in touch, and in control. By the end of the month, it's a time for you to celebrate. Leo, Aquarius are party signs. This is a time for you to party. Leo is a party sign. It rules the area of life that has to do with celebration and party and true love and romance and creativity, the love you give to others. Aquarius rules the love you receive from others. And so this is a time for love. This is a time for new relationship. This is a time for fresh starts. And there's no challenge to that Aquarius moon. So this is a wonderful time for you to grow and expand in the area of self, in the area of your destiny in the world, what you do in the world, in the area of relationships. This is a wonderful month for you to travel for pleasure or work. This is a wonderful time for you to start a new love, a new relationship. I'm talking the 22nd on in July. But love can happen anywhere, anytime. And if it does, you want to seize that opportunity. You want to take advantage of that opportunity. So for those of you looking for love, you've got Venus in your sign and Jupiter in your sign. You know, so love is here for you. Love is available for you. For those of you already coupled, this is a wonderful energy. And the Aquarius full moon is lighting up that area of partnership. So celebrate your love. Rekindle the romance. Do romantic things. Leo rules romance. Do things that, you know, get your love life going. Get your, uh, uh, you know, making love. Being love. Feeling love. Feel the love. This is the time to do it. There's no challenges to your money. And having Jupiter and Venus in your sign is very beneficial for attracting abundance. Spiritually, you're growing. And Uranus is in that area, lighting it up, lighting the way. What is your truth? What is true for you? Let go of the inner battle. Let go of any struggle that's going on on the inside. Make peace with your past. Make peace with who you are. Love who you are. And be one with your higher self. Be one with your soul self. Venus is going to be in your sign until October 8th. And that is a blessing. That is opportunity. What are you going for? Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, sharing, and Google Plusing my podcast, Leo. You're so awesome. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your solar return chart, what's coming up for you this solar year or your transits, it's very easy. You go to the link below. It takes you to my astrology page. Purchase a session. Upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule. You get scheduled. Or if you're interested in coaching, you want to work on something going on with your work, with your relationships, or a new business idea you have, it's very easy. You go to my coaching page, you purchase your session upon checkout, you get the link to my schedule, you get scheduled. Or if you're interested in coming to my upcoming webinars, we would love to see you there. One's on love, the other one's on money. I'm going to do another one on money in July. We'd love to see you. And just go for it. It's your time, the 22nd on. It's it. It's birthday time. Happy birthday. Would you be so bold?